it's a bit noisy here, but there are all everywhere there are workshops, and it's really nice. But I discovered something new at this uh, booth here. I discovered here a very nice product. They have all these small tripods, and one of the tripods is this one. It's a really nice one, and I will demonstrate it to you. Or can you do it? Oh yes, very good. Can you put it on the table? Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. So little This is something that makes me really, really look funny. Could you tell us what that is? What, what is that? that this is a stereo microphone from a firm called DPA Danish. Okay. And it's professional microphone. It gives you very good ears, two ears, and I can do interviews like that. Okay. So uh, this is your voice and this is my voice. Go and get the GH2 by Lewis. I've got the GH13. He's got the GH13. Okay. <laughs> Now this is nice, but it will be much nicer in the future. And then you don't need the glasses anymore. But do you believe in it? I asked him and he said... Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, my name is Daryl Marks. I'm a management consultant from Henderson, Nevada. And I work with people who have done a great deal of 3D research. And I have looked at all of this research and I have concluded that the glasses are problematic for the larger screens because there is no one standard out uh, and also the viewing angles have to be far more calibrated. On the other hand, Panasonic has just launched a new portable video camera that sells for about 1200 US and that video camera will be the launching of 3D as we know it in the in the future. The funny thing about small devices is that you don't need glasses to view 3D. No. It's almost as if a hologram comes off the page oh, yeah. and you see the hologram, uh, which is really a 3D image and your eyes playing tricks. But the image is so wonderful. Okay. As soon as that can get to a small device, mm -hmm. then that is where the market will really take yes. off. Thank you very much, very interesting. Fish eye, I don't know. I just was thinking I'm laying down, you know. But there is somebody who has the Canon 5D. The Canon 5D. And according to Philip Bloom, you have to use the Rode microphone. But for this man, it was too big. So what he did, he took some parts of it, you see. Um, if I shot with a 16 to 45 lens. Yes. It's the don't trust the... Oh yeah, the hairs, yeah. Hairs. So you didn't cut the hair with the uh, scissors? A little, a little bit in front, here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. If you are at the photo kina, it's nice to have a little massage. And she's from Poland. Hi. What's your name? Kasia. Kasia? Yeah. Kasia. Well, massage, starting now. Ooh, wow, ooh, oh, oh, shaking. <laughs> Better to take my shirt off, don't I? No, okay. <laughs> One of the firms with a lot of tripods is Ratchet, and he's doing really great business, business here. So they have got a lot of tripods, and this one I like the most. It's my tripod. Why do I like this one? Because I don't like to carry a lot. So what he did is this one you can take off. Just look at it. And now I have a monopod. So this one you can use for your shots in the air, but also to take a shot of your dog. You know, walking behind, <laughs> behind your dog, like that. So that's ideal and it is super light. It's, it's uh, uh, carbon fiber. So, that's my tripod. Buy it. It's nice.
Now, on the last day, a great discovery from Korea. This little nice gadget for the Nokia N8. It's a wide angle and macro lens. Skype me for a course or see you next year on this show or at the IBC. Bye-bye. Thanks.